Secondly, my request to you and to you is to the nation, I hope the people are watching, noise is no substitute for intellectual uh, contents. You cannot substitute by noise. My request to you is, kindly when you call these people on the channel, please, 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 they are doing a great service, service to themselves and using all sort of words. The gentleman who opened your debate this morning, or sorry, this, on this channel, I know I, was, I used to meet him in 95. He can say, no, he doesn't know me. I know him very well. I know where exactly he was hiding in which went Wade Bush. Today he's talking like a fellow. These people have made it a point, they will not, I repeat, not allow the normal sea to come to Kashmir. The day it happens, their road is over. They'll be of no use to anybody. They will not be of any use to their own people. It is for this reason, whenever the Milton Sea has been going down in Kashmir, they will create a problem. I was there, I was commanding a division for the information. And this gentleman who spoke first time, he was in my area of responsibility. And I know what is his plight. Where was he hiding? And his supporters. I know him fully well. Where was he hiding? The moment uh, he was hiding for his own life. And he used to take protection, even that time. And today is giving a lecture and sermon to all people. And they are describing India as a nation of attackers. What sort of people are they? I don't think, I don't think that is correct on their part. The th point you made, what should we do? I think the message should go, enough is enough, and more than enough is not required. We have suffered a lot. I was there in 94, 95, 96, when Kashmir was burning. It was that the people were left on their own. The Kashmiris who claim themselves to be the people of representative today, they had run away from there. All these people who are creating noise, they were not there. The poor people of Kashmir were left on their own at the mercy of the Pakistani people and the terrorists. Thanks to the people of Kashmir, they are there today. And not these few gentlemen who come and keep shouting around here and there. Have you ever heard anything about from these people, their own brothers who have been sent out of the state? The Kashmiri pundits, are they not the citizens of this place? And the gentleman had the audacity to say, I am not an Indian. Then why are you here? Why are you here? Why do you want all the facility from government of India, the nation of this country, uh, nation, and you say you are not the uh, Indian? What sort of people are they? Who are they talking for? So my request to you is, kindly, let the nation know the credential of these people who are talking today. They have done it deliberately. They will be doing it, I am telling you today, another three days time there is going to be another attack. If you want to know the area, I can tell you. No, I, I think we should, uh, at this point, uh, because uh, I, I'd say that we should exercise some discretion on that. Because the idea is to look for solutions. I don't, uh, Mr. General, you know very well, you are, you've served in the area, you've headed a division. Uh, we should not create any panic. The, the question is to be real, and I completely agree with you, General Shekatkar. There are people in our country, unfortunately, who hold Indian passports and like to abuse their own country. And, and they want to take all the benefits financially and otherwise of being a part of India. They want to enrich themselves through the industry of terrorism. They have huge amounts of money. There are some people who gain from hawala transactions from across the border. And these people build huge houses, lead fancy lifestyles, and they fly business class and first class abroad. <coughs> and these are the same people who want this industry to be alive. These are selfish people, General Shekatkar, who must be exposed. I completely agree with you on that. And these are the same people who lack the moral no, or the personal courage to speak out against their masters who fund them from across the border. Yeah, yeah. And these people, being the cowards that they are, should not, therefore, you know, be continued to just go unchallenged. I completely agree with you, Dr. General Shekatkar. These people must be exposed for whatever it is worth. Uh, Subramaniam Swami, I'm just coming back to you. This discussion is going forward. Coming back to you yeah. in just a minute. Because I, too, have strong views against these anti-nationals. General Shekatkar, I make no bones about it. And, and I, I, I think it, is, it, it, it defiles uh, our medium to have people who just come and say all kinds of things about this country and then take benefits from it. And, and they also are completely aware they would not have the freedom to do that if they chose to be in the country that they love so much, which is Pakistan. My next question is to Nizamuddin Bhatt, because that's not the subject of discussion. Mr. Bhatt, you know, you are a senior leader of the PDP. Everybody is asking you today that the security presence cannot be reduced in Srinagar. And today's incident has only highlighted that. Would you agree? That you cannot afford to dilute security presence in Srinagar. 
वॉट एवर द पोलिटिकल कंपल्शन You see, kindly try to understand. You were earlier when you are posed questions. You were enumerating facts. By implication, you were agreeing that there has been a pattern. Yes. We don't have to forget that there is a situation which has come up for various reasons. And here is a nation, or here are people who have been facing this situation and try trying to wriggle out of it. with some dignity and honor today's incident is unfortunate nobody likes violence our party's view point is absolutely clear we have been consistent in our stand we don't make uh, noises we don't uh, play jingoism like uh, the uh, ruling party has been playing we have to have an honest approach to come out of a situation which is eating at our vitals we are the worst sufferers in kashmir so has been the nation suffering so are the people across who have been the sufferers of this situation when you go through people to people dialogue or Sir, open the pages of peace process you will come to know but mr bhat my question is specific my question is specific 50 nation, 50 bunkers 50 bunkers have been like, removed like, or relocated see, see, from srinagar city and its peripheries you see this is how can you do that the 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 the, 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 the incidents have been happening despite army presence on borders despite security forces present in every part of our state Mr. despite efforts being made on economic Mr. political and security level by the government mr bhat and this is a big question for us not that the situation is potential enough Mr. it poses mr bhat more challenges and we Mr. will have to go for an answer mr plot. bhat you have but please but understand that we, we we have to have and understanding of that mr bhat why don't you why mr. don't you accept the reality uh, in april 2012 as per my information while a 23 year old paramilitary picket was being removed from lal chowk which is where all these separatists some uh, operate from in uptown shrinagar at the same time as the crpf picket was being removed terrorists were shooting and killing a jnk police officer in in darish kadal which is also in downtown shrinagar you are giving them a message mm -hmm. that mr. i will remove mr. the pickets mr no, no. arnab why do you should, want why do you mr. want mr arnab you should know mr. most parts of the state are are not maintained by security forces and why? no such big incidents why, happen I, there why would These you incidents why have been happening the, in the city mr bhat the point is the point is we you, don't have you, to go into that are you so why are you supporting the omar abdullah government's policy of sec reducing security presence in this areas is, is, like no, shrinagar no, 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 not at all omar omar omar, omar saab we do deference to him omar saab has been playing to galleries he has never approached <laughs> this a, is uh, never approached with an honest call honest honest uh, sir i don't know who's honest and who's not i want colonel call to come no the question is not here the security that. point of view sir this you, is you, you you have to make the comparison so you can't you, so you cannot you operate out of political considerations alone you cannot See, operate out of political sir you why can't do you, operate why do you, why do you, so you why can't do you operate out of political considerations alone i want colonel call sir here the other point of view colonel calls response to nizamuddin but to the government at one score and blame them at the same time with same breath at another score so why don't you make to, right comparison you have to sir. divorce he right is going to give me a chance to colonel calls response to nizamuddin but and to mustafa kamal if he is going to give me a chance to speak mr but the question is that for the last 3 years as as specified by mr mustafa kamal and yourself the situation has improved because will you give somebody else a chance to keep talking with her without listening to anybody else for the last 3 years as you say things are better it is not because of you and your people or the politicians who are sitting on this panel it is because the army has been proactive if you say so and I'm they sorry, have ensured the lives you, you of any, average citizens of the people i am sorry are I am absolutely sorry, I please listen to what i am saying i never interrupted when, i did not interrupt when you spoke i did not interrupt when you spoke saying that people are nobody i did not interrupt when you spoke now listen to me i did not interrupt when you spoke now listen to me 
यू हैव दिस हैबिट ऑफ टॉकिंग एंड कैरिंग ऑन टॉकिंग योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंटरवेंशन नो आई डू वर्क लिजन टू मी बिफोर यू मेक एन इंटरवेंशन बिफोर यू मेक एन इंटरवेंशन लिजन टू वॉट आई हैव टू से the lifeline of the army the lifeline of the armed forces and the security forces for the protection of your state i won't say our state because i am no longer a part of that state thanks to people like you who denies the role of the army or security forces but don't deny the role of the people please you you deny you deny the role of the people who have thrown us out sorry the army is there to ensure three things one that communal harmony remains two that the sovereignty of this country does not get uh, hampered and three that the borders are secure you and your compatriots cannot by any long shot do any of these three things therefore what has happened today is because have... of a lack of understanding of what is what is required to you be done you can say anything you have been blaming i am of the view well, you have been blaming mr bhat the question is the question is the, question is the soft anything. approach will not so work i am not so i am so not the point is we i am no no the i am not blaming kashmir i am my people i am blaming you people no i am blaming you people who are our hand in glove with the terrorists subramaniam swap you are hand in glove with the terrorists you talk something on television subramaniam swap subramaniam Swami is responding to Nizamuddin Bhatt right and Mustafa Kamal now. Subramaniam so, Swami. Sorry, sorry, I don't buy your argument. Yes. The question is limited. I don't buy your yes. argument. The question, yes. the question yes. is limited. May I turn this frame? Problem. May I, Mr. Bhatt? Yes. 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 Yes.
Kindly, kindly, don't have this emotion of hatred in your, in your, in your, in your voice. We are, we are Indians by, by, I have no emotion of hatred, choice. my dear. Not by compulsion. My dear Mustafa Kamal, you were my we neighbor placed, at one we time. A flag. You were my neighbor at one time. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I know. grew up next door. We are not door. the people who, who, who took you out of here. Jagmohan is the person who, who, who drove you out from here. You know it. Even, even, even your leaders who, who had the uh, reconciliation well, done Mustafa of Mustafa Kamal and Colonel Kohl. Jatinder Bakshi. He's on record of having said call. I, that, I, that it was Jagmohan who drove you out, I, not, I, not I, by Muslims I just, of Kashmir. I, I, Mr. I'm only short Muslims just, of Kashmir are known for their no, secular, to say secular credentials. I just you don't need, we don't need to tell you to... But Mustafa Kamal, let me say this, time. that it is not the people of Kashmir who have attacked that army convoy, it is the terrorists. And why don't you realize it's not that an, these, it's terrorists, not a, Jabu these terrorists, problem these is not terrorists an army issue. cannot be dealt with soft hands anymore? Army seems to be putting its legs into everything. Well, I don't think so. The I know they are, they, are, they, are, they are desperate to take over, take over, take over government. Well, in 2005, the allowed. CRPF took control from the BSF for the security of Srinagar. The fact of the matter army, is this. Army has to the army does not it, play a role in Srinagar. Limits. You know that. And others will and ask the question of whether the situation would be different if they did. Army has I got thank more important much. things to do I than take over control of a me. ragged state like I yours. I thank my yes, panelists yes. for joining me on this discussion on the news hour tonight. Thank you.